new face of the Democratic Alliance. Immensely popular, he beat his opponent overwhelmingly. Here in this party, there will be no room for those who seek to divide or those who want to mobilize on the basis of race. His adversary gracefully accepted defeat. I mean, the party has decided uh, on who, who's, who's leader. And I'm, I'm very proud of my campaign. I, um, I ran a very good campaign. I raised some important issues around transparency when it comes to campaign finance and having open debates, and I'm very happy about that. I had good support. The parties decided who's the new leader, and now it's time to unite. Quick out of the blocks, Maimane added his voice to the furore following Alistair Sparks' comments that apartheid architect Hendrik Fervut was an intelligent man. The system of racial classification devised by Hendrik Fervut was evil and deplorable. And ultimately we cannot stay trapped in that way of thinking. We must triumph over the evil of apartheid by building a new bridge into a new future. We must not remain Democrats, victims of our past, but we must indeed believe in a better tomorrow for all South Africans. Former party leaders believe Maimane's ascendance signals a new dawn. A new chapter, a new era for South Africa. The Democratic Alliance is going and growing and winning. And that is good news for South Africa and our democracy, for everybody's rights, for everybody's freedom, fairness and opportunity for every single citizen of South Africa. I'm absolutely excited and thrilled with the outcome of this Congress. I think it's been the greatest one I've ever attended and I've been going to Congresses uh, since 1960. This elective Congress has been described as a landmark. The only uncontested position was that of James Self, the executive federal chairperson. The incoming leaders are Musi Maimane, leader, Athol Trollip, federal chair. Deputy federal chairpersons are Ivan Meyer, Rifilo Nseke, and Desri van de Valt. Musi's rise has been nothing short of meteoric. From being the DA's mayoral candidate for Johannesburg to being the poster boy for the party's Gauteng premiership candidacy during the 2014 elections, he went on to take over from Lidi Wema Zimuko as the parliamentary leader. He now faces the challenge of continuing with the party's growing trend. Yuli Sanjamela, SAPC News in Port Elizabeth.